Well, hello everybody, and here we are on our Tuesday Ceramic Talk. Um, Brian has picked the box that I'm to open, and uh, I haven't got a clue what's in it, but I just wanted to, yesterday but was uh, Sally Mishner's birthday. Sally Mishner, of course, is, our, uh, is the breeder of uh, these dogs, and uh, if you're looking for a dog that won't chew your shoes, um, you can't go, you can't go wrong. Anyway, this is it, and notice I very chose the shoes to go with the dog, and uh, now we are going to talk about Valerie Metcalf. Today is uh, Valerie. Valerie is Royal Canadian Academy um, from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Valerie is an extraordinary artist, a graduate in 1974 from the University of Manitoba, where her uh, main instructor was the famous Robert Archambault. Robert Archambault, of course, is one of the artists that uh, it was in our Upstart Start, Up Start show, which was the exhibition of artists that we held in 2010, uh, featuring artists that were born before 1940, who are really the vanguard of, uh, of contemporary Canadian ceramics in Canada. The box is here. Valerie's work is here. Valerie uh, works in porcelain, uh, beautifully thrown forms, um, thrown and altered. Uh, Valerie incorporates, uh, you know, the Mishima technique. There isn't any Mishima here, I don't think. No. Uh, but there is the wax re resist. The wax resist is what gives the design here. Wonderful thrown, uh, thrown in two parts, the, the throat and, and the vase. Uh, her spaceship vases, I got to tell you about these. This one is actually from Brian's collection. But when uh, Val Valerie first designed these about, oh, Christ. 15, 20 years ago, 15 years ago? Something like that. Yeah. And um, so I sent out a memo to all of, um, it was coming up to Mother's Day, and uh, made an arrangement with, uh, with Daisy Flowers in London over in Richmond, and they did fabulous orchid arrangements, and I think we delivered 15 of them that day all over the city, uh, and they were just a huge hit. One of the little details here is the jeweling that she's done with the, uh, the little, um, little drop, there which is quite nice and of course here so this is thrown and then here you've got this now this one slumped a little bit more than um which kind of makes it even more interesting but fabulous fabulous glaze and as i well, said what's a good example from going from function to art yeah that's true and this is um this is from brian's collection and he's often slumped so there we go Really, really nice. But now, oh, and then these little cards. If you're looking for a little place to stick your cards. Or forget-me-nots. Or forget-me-nots or to, uh, you know, actually you can have a good shot. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, so that is, um, and, you know, here's all the, by the way, you know, the Stoneware Gallery in Winnipeg is one of the oldest co-op uh, galleries in, in the country. And Valerie is the uh, last original member. Um, Valerie's actually one of the very first artists that we sh um, showed at the gallery and um, she was part of the Matter of Clay show in 2001 and in here we have got, by the way, just so you know, as a COVID thing, normally we would not, ha nothing would be available for sale until the actual exhibition. Oh, we opens. don't, these are, we don't even have prices for this yet. We don't even have prices. Yeah, we just, I yeah. thought that you knew things. I know what's in the box, and we're going to talk about prices after the show. Oh, so we're going to have a private conversation. Yeah. So the, the, okay. But the work is fabulous. I Valerie picks some, I pick some. So just so you know, getting back to my original thing, because of COVID, if you see something that rocks your world, even though you don't know what the price is, uh, don't worry about it. Get in touch with us. We will be selling prior and we will be taking your money, but um, we will ship the work to you or you can pick it up after the show. Without further ado. The work is stunning. I can't wait for you to see it. Yeah. Valerie, oh, oh, you know, by the way, if you notice, do a little quick pan here. The shop looks like Grand Central Station for there's boxes arriving daily. Um, it's really quite exciting. And uh, actually, so that is, and here we go. A little bit of airbags, and uh, oh, by the way, every uh, you know, Sally's uh, Sally's dogs. Um, you're gonna you're gonna be introduced to a different dog every day for the next every show for the next nine shows. 
One of the nine, yeah. So there we go. And... Exciting. Okay, this is... Oh, shit. Uh, Brian and I have been going... Because as you know, Brian is also moving. He is uh, in his new place. He is now our... Not only is he the gallery chief curator, he's also now the gallery live-in attendant because his apartment is upstairs. Um, I think the first artist to see it is going to be um, Zuza and Bruce Cochran when yeah. they deliver. Yeah. Unless Angelo decides to deliver earlier than that. So. <laughs> Do you know, I, I realize, I'm so glad that they really pack well, but I know that it sort of does increase the suspense when we don't even have a bloody clue as to, uh, well, I don't have a clue as to. Oh my God. Ooh, right, right. Oh shit, that's gorgeous. So here we've got um, porcelain, beautiful copper red, lovely um, uh, wax resist here, brush painting. Uh, absolutely. So this is one of the repeat works. This is one of the repeat works. So this is not the, the uh, this is just stunning. I mean, it feels so nice. You know, Valerie's bottoms are wonderful. Not her bottoms, her, her <laughs> but I mean, this is one of her mugs. We had 12 of them. Is, this is the last one, right? We had 24. We had 24 of them, and this is the last one. But, you know, it's just, they feel so comfortable in the hand. Mm. So anyway, so there we've got that. And moving right along before I put people to sleep. Um, you just wait, Kathy. There's some awesome ones in here. Oh, is Kathy on? Yeah. Yeah. Kathy, by the way, is from Maryland. And um, one of the very first clients, 2003. I've known Kathy. Kathy's been a client longer than Brian's been with the gallery. And Gal Brian's been with the gallery 17 years. And she was telling me the other day that uh, she has more stuff from us than from anybody. Which is nice to hear. I'll keep that up. Keep that up, Kathy. <laughs> yeah. Don't let it, uh, don't feel that you have to stop now. <laughs> and anybody who wants to join the competition, um, I'll feel free. Ooh. Kathy, my God, Valerie's packing is improved. She's always been a great packer. No, this is, this is better than usual. Right? Ooh. <laughs> okay, so Valerie also incorporates gold in her work. And look at this, absolutely incredible. Little bit of uh, scraffito there. If anybody got one of her bowls in December, that would match it beautifully. That is really, really stunning. I love this sort of like potty green. It's very Martha Stewart. Yeah. Actually, we could have sent Martha a little vase. This one's one. sold. Oh, okay. Oh, just wait, Judy. It's tentatively sold. Tentatively sold. Okay, so there's a hold on this one, and uh, and, and you know what do you get for two grand? <laughs> I mean, really. Judy's probably choking on her wine. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's she's an hour ahead of us. She could be drinking wine. Um, glad to see that we're doing our thing for pack. You know, by the way, all of this packing that you see, folks, gets reused. It gets reused. We reuse it when we ship to you. <laughs> so there you go and uh, that's just keeping but you know can't wait so excited there's a if you're ever in Winnipeg there's a great little pizza place if it's still there just down from Valerie oh my god this is absolutely beautiful but what is particularly stunning about it so you've got this high high um this glaze, high glaze, high sheen, and then of course all the the lovely painting. Here you've got a little bit of um, of Mishima there. But what is really remarkable, and I think that this is really an evolution in Val's work, is that look at this. The glaze ends here, and the the high sheen, and it goes matte. So it almost looks, in a weird way, as if you've got some, as if you've got a. Um, a reconstruction of, a, of an artifact where somebody has decided, well, this is the way it would have, the natural progression would have happened. This is the first time that I've seen this 
on uh, on Valerie's work, and it's absolutely stunning, beautifully finished, but it just it just has um, it's stunning, absolutely gorgeous. Wow, that is good one, Valerie. Well, Valerie's teaching, so she might not be watching at the moment. She'll be blushing later. But that is abs that is I can't get over that. That's beautiful. And again, this is the repeat work. We haven't. Oh, this. We're now. This one. This one feels like this is this is the matter of clay. Okay. They're fine. all matter of clay. Uh, no, but I mean this is the exhibition piece. Exhibition piece. The occasional part. Because remember, what the theme behind this exhibition was uh, repeats in the occasional part. That's a something that we coined um, a few years ago, and the idea being, an artist has to earn a living which means that you guys have got to buy. But the reality is, is that in earning a living is often done with, with repeat work. That, and then there are the occasional pots. Occasional pots being pieces that are done for exhibitions. The only thing that separates an occasional pot from a repeat pot is time expended. You know, a talented artist does doing quality work will make sure that even something as humble as this wonderful mug, wax resist, is still, uh, mm. God, I'll be glad when I'm off my prentice on, I got a goddamn drink. Anyway, <laughs> so the, um, so this, from its size, I think we're moving into the exhibition piece. So, and this is, damn it. Okay, okay. I hope everybody's the question, maybe. It's safe. <laughs> eh? It's safe. It's safe is right. You know, it, it is, actually, I'd rather take time struggling with scotch tape and bubble wrap than... It's been, nice, it's been a nice holiday for me, because usually I do all the unpacking. <laughs> That's why you wanted these videos to be <laughs> unpacking videos. So he just gets to stand there and... Play the role of Jonathan. Yeah, play the role of Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Judy. That is absolutely, absolutely look at the haloing. Stunning. Yeah, look at there. Absolutely. Isn't that beautiful? Incredible. Just beautiful. Look at the Look at the way the glaze has broken. It's like a galaxy. It's almost like the cosmos. That is just absolutely breathtaking. Wow. That one. <laughs> eh? Yeah, it's stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. There is, uh, wow. Yeah, that's going to New Brunswick. Going to New Brunswick? Yeah. That is beautiful. That is stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Well, yeah. it's, like, it's like a night sky. I think, you know, Kathy, looking at your collection, look at that. How that, that is just... Well, just wait. There's more. There's more, but uh, where the heck... Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, so over the next few... Uh, while, I'm, while I'm talking, um, and you're listening, hopefully... Uh, I don't know if we mentioned, but we will, uh, September 1st, we will be um, officially opening our vintage room. Brian is just choked because this is a conversation that we didn't have. <laughs> and I got to do all the work. <laughs> hey, hey, no, no, no. That's not, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll direct. If anybody can see the look I just gave him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at the now here. Look at the absolutely beautiful symmetry, and but and look, a nice pair of vases to go somewhere. Isn't that absolutely? And they are functional. Yeah, these are functional. You can stick a flower in there, but just look at the. They're a little too big for my mini vase collection, but uh, I hope people are watching the mini vase moments on uh, London Ceramics every morning at seven a.m. They show up. That is just. I like that. 
Wow. You know, wrapping up and uh, this is a lot of work, you know, because when when mm. that gave me a little bit of a just a second. After I can't possibly do that. So and Valerie's been here and we've been there and uh, she's done a workshop at the London Clay Art Center. Oh that's right. Yeah. Arranged by us. Arranged by us. Yeah. The London Clay Art Center, by the way, for any of you who haven't been to London, if you're watching from elsewhere, the London Clay Art Center is really one of the most active guilds in Canada. But not only is it an incredible guild, they have done an extraordinary job of repurposing and re um, It's just their anniversary as well for the new building. Yeah. Is it oh, oh. Okay, now this is interesting because this one, as you can see, the same matte glaze on the top, but for, but this one, there is a natural progression of matte glaze, whereas here it really has a different, a really different sense. I, I, I love that one. I was trying to get Brian to let us open up one of the other because you know we've got to be patient. I know we've got to be patient. Yeah. This is some incredible stuff that's come in that I know it's in the boxes, of course. Yeah, because Brian <laughs> likes to know everything. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have this piece is stunning as well. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a piece by Valerie that we didn't like. Uh. No. <laughs> Valerie is also a horsewoman. That's H O R S E. She rides, and uh, she's quite the quite the animal lover. So when you support the when you're buying a piece of Valerie's, you may be stabling a horse. So just remember that. Okay. It's nice we've got some nice clean packing material. Wait, do you see it? Oh! Oh my god, the shade of green. That's my green. Yeah. Oh my god, that's the green of my sofa. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Wow. I think that's it. Is that it? That's oh, it. Some fabulous work. Absolutely incredible. So again, here we have Valerie is one of the few um, ceramic artists that incorporates gold into his work into her work. Remember, gold is a separate firing. Because if you fired it at the temperature that it took to do that, the gold would just burn off. So anywhere that you see gold, that is a, a separate firing. And then the Mishima, uh, you can see here, th this is uh, like carved in and then she's, uh, so you've got that incredible tracery. Um, these are stunning. And when, um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Absolutely. I mean, look at, wow. <laughs> So are we talking uh, about anything else? Uh, no, just that today. And I will choose one for you, James. Don't worry. Yeah, so that's it. So they are, there we are, Valerie Metcalf, Royal Canadian Academy. Valerie Metcalf was named to the Royal Canadian Academy in 1992. Her work is absolutely extraordinary, working in porcelain, high fire porcelain. She's the last artist standing at the original stone. Uh, Brian's trying to shut me up. Uh, the, the, you know, there's no commercial break um, of the Stoneware Gallery in, um, in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, extraordinary work. We have placed a lot of her work, and I don't think we're going to have any trouble placing any of this work. Thank you. We will see you on Thursday. Until then, be safe and wear a mask.